Welcome back, week three, day five, the last day of our Train With Us series. We hope you've had a great time. I know we sure have um, doing it all and me, me personally working on my stuff as well. Great for me to be able to do this. Um, so today we're gonna do some more defensive drills. At the end, if you wanna do some more shooting, more than welcome, and to continue these programs through the weeks coming. Uh, back to our defensive drills. Wash our hands first, we warm up and we get into it. The first drill we're gonna do here is we're gonna work on our defensive stance and sliding. Okay, so the first thing when it comes to our defense is our feet are shoulder width apart, our knees are bent, and our hands are out. All right, we need to be balanced. We're not hunched over, we'll lose balance. All right, defense is all about balance. There's gonna be contact through your chest. You've gotta be able to take that and stay, stay upright. All right, so we're bent, knees, arms are out, and we're balanced, all right? Now, when we slide, we don't go like this, bring our feet together, again, we lose balance. All right, so one thing that's always stuck with me since I was a kid was big to bigger. All right, so I've got big, a big base, and I go bigger. Now I go big to bigger, all right? Now, when we push off, we push off with our leg that we're, is, is trailing, all right? Our trail leg is our power leg. All right, so big to bigger. All right, big to bigger. Our feet don't come together, we stay balanced, nice and low and grounded. All right, so first drill we're gonna do, we're gonna slide and then we're also gonna change direction. So defense is about moving backwards. You can do this one in your house if you have a court or not. All right, so we're gonna slide on an angle. It's not often we play defense just straight running back like this. All right, so we're gonna slide on an angle when we hit the sideline, slide on another angle. All right, so we're here. Now we're gonna drop step this leg Inside, defensive position, big to bigger. Slide again to the next lane. Drop step, slide, drop step, slide. All right, we're gonna do that down and back. We're gonna work on this slide for about two and a half minutes at a time. Once you've worked on it for that long, now that's gonna put some burn in your legs, but it's all about getting the fatigue, getting used to that fatigue on the defensive end of the floor. We gotta play defense for 24 seconds, maybe 48, depends how long, how many offensive rebounds they get. We've got to be prepared to play defense for a long time. All right, drill number two, we're going to be working on some uh, closeouts. So again, grab a chair, grab a friend. We're going to set up three spots on the floor, 45, top, 45. All right, so now we have a shooter with the ball. We're closing them out. We don't want to close out too hard. They're going to drive by us, get to the ring. But we don't want to close out too short. They can shoot the three. All right, so on this side of the floor, whenever we're closing out, we wanna make a decision in our mind about where we wanna send that guy, all right? If we close out just square like this, they've got either way of our body to attack. When we close out, for me, it's about choosing where that guy doesn't wanna go, or girl. I, I often push them to their left hand. So not by much, but just slightly higher is my left foot. I'm just slightly giving them that left angle a little bit more. That's something that can really help your defense and start thinking about where you want to send your player. All right, so we're going to start in our help position. First closeout's going to be the wing. Second closeout's the top. Third closeout's the opposite wing. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate here. Always leading slightly with my high foot, except on this side of the floor, I'm going to push them slightly to the baseline. There's a lot less space to this baseline side for the offensive player to create an attack. So first thing here, we're on help position. Closing out here. Shot. Now I'm gonna get back to help, help position, help position. Close out top, back help position. Closing out wing, back help position. All right, so did you notice on this side of the floor, my right foot was slightly higher? Not by much, we don't wanna give them a lane, but we just wanna slightly tell them where we want them to go. That's how we can get wins on defense. All right, good luck with that one. We're gonna do that drill. Three closeouts, gonna have a 10 second break on the baseline. Count to 10, we're gonna close out again. We're gonna do that 10 times. So you're gonna do 10 closeouts of three. So that's 30 closeouts total. Again, this, this day is really gonna work on our legs and our stamina. Now for the uh, signature defensive move, um, they're always tough to have. I don't have the uh, elite athleticism of Dane Pinot or Mitch Creek, but one thing I can do is get my body into good positions uh, and take a charge. So 
I'm gonna close out here just as we were. Now, as I said, we've already made a decision for them on where we'd like them to go. Now it's about anticipating and knowing they're gonna get there, getting your chest in front of the player and taking a charge straight through the chest. If we take it on the shoulder, it's gonna be a blocking foul. Really important to get our charge right in the middle of our chest. So we close out here. He's gonna take one dribble, boom, in the chest. All right, so Dan's gonna demonstrate here. I'm gonna call on a second helper just to show you guys what to do. Once we take our charge and fall, we're gonna fall into the ground. We can do this in our kitchen if we like. Get up, we're gonna get back to a help position. Once we get to a help position, close out the top, and we're gonna to corral into a charge. All right, so I'm in help. I'm gonna close out on Dan. I know where I'm sending him to the baseline and I gotta cut off his first dribble. Shot, boom, right in the chest. All right, so it's about closing out, making them make a decision and then anticipating. All right, good luck with that one and uh, don't break anything in the kitchen.